but it was more my partner that done everything because we left it, everything was fine during the day and then we left the kids, they were in bed about 8 o'clock. Um, that's when we noticed the water coming up. Um, put the kids in the van, came here and then he went back and got furniture, all the stuff that we could survive. By the time he went there, water was up to here and yeah, and then we got onto the school and they helped out with so much with moving stuff and everything like that. If it wasn't for them, we didn't know where we'd be. If it wasn't for my mother-in-law, we would be out on the street or sleeping in the van. Like, and with Tiana, with her illnesses and all that, I was dreading the worst for her out of all the kids because the house we were living in was only a three bedroom. We were sleeping in the lounge with Tiana. The babies had their room. My son had his room and the girls slept in their room. It, it's something like... I wish no one to go through it. Like, there are people out there worse off than us, but for someone with so many kids and stuff like that, like, it's, it was mm. horrible and I feel like can even get any worse for mm. us. Like, what would you like to see happen in the next few days? Um, hopefully good luck. Um, a house <laughs> of mm. our own. Um, go back to normality. Um, it's been very stressful, you know, on the kids as well as us. Um, with everything being in such a small house, like everyone's on each other's faces all the time, and the kids are getting bored, and it's getting, it's getting a handful. Um, yeah, but it's more for the little ones. For like, as I said, Tiana's got surgery next week, and you know, in, with her, anything can happen to her. And I don't want to be where I am now. Like, I want to be in my own place, that I can call my own, and get my family back to normal. Mm. So, yeah. yeah.